Yo, it's time to do a just a random video on today's issues and what is interesting to me and stuff like that. And hopefully interested in other. I'm on my inversion table upside down. I'll do I'm gonna do just five minutes probably. It's hard to do this. I've been having a lot of struggles with my lower back and stuff like that. But uh today, uh Robin Hood, I'm trying to think which oh, Murphy Oil. I had uh, just I think I had two shares of that and I bought it around five dollars or something during the first part of the pandemic and I put a sell order for ten dollars on it not sure when it ever get back up there but I was going to hold them anyway because they pay dividends and they stay pretty busy they I know they took a hit but being in a Walmart being right in front of Walmart is like Walmart is the only place you can, one of the places you can go during a pandemic and stuff like that so uh, I was really um, like their stock. Now I don't own any of it now because it sold. Uh, I guess I made off of about a ten to eight dollar purchase. I had to look it back up. I made twelve dollars off that profit and stuff. But uh, um, I almost think I had four shares. I had to look at it again. But the things that interested me, I'm interested uh, looking at. NRZ was up, uh, basically a lot of the stock market was up and so like that. I watched somebody's channel today, I forgot who it was, I, I listened to it, I really enjoyed it and stuff, but I was just listening to a lot of people talk about that are switching to uh, Fidelity, they wonder why they're switching to Fidelity. I'll probably always keep my Robinhood account, but I'll probably maybe get to a point where I don't add to it, I'll just uh, take profit from it take dividends from it so like that but uh, um, uh, today I hope to interview a friend of mine that I got into Robin Hood and uh, he didn't put no money into it he just took the got the free stock and we sold that free stock and we're going to try to put it in dividend paying companies and put it at buy them at low it's going to be a very cheap ones but buy them low um, and then put a sales price on them I think it was ORC but maybe I think one share and then we put like a four or five dollars sale on it in case it gets back up there but if anything he's going to hold it and it'll just draw uh, dividends it's going to be a slow process I did the same thing with my dad I hope to maybe interview my dad on a, on it on a his he uh I was fortunate to help him to get in there and he has he was not able to put money in there for some reason because his bank there he hadn't got to his bank and there was some extra security code or something that they had to let him in let him put some money in there but he's not going to put no money in there right now i told him just to focus on his debt and uh, to take that free money and he sold it we sold his stock and i put him in a company called mn um manor in napier and i love that stock i love to buy it from 220 down and then sell it when it goes above 220 two dollars and 20 cents um and uh he was bought it at i think a dollar 17 during the first part uh during the about five weeks ago and then within two weeks we sold it at two dollars and uh it sold and he i think he's up to five dollars from a three dollar purchase of stocks free stocks so my goal is help them build a slow account and just have them as uh as uh as my robin hood brothers but i'll always keep a robin hood i always days i like to have weeble i like to i may be going to keep my think and swim Count. I don't know if I can get it unlocked. I'm at. It just seems kind of weird when I try to trade. It's just there's a lot of information on there, but I might try to keep that. Uh, the goal is to close out a stock purchase plan at work and maybe transfer my FedEx stocks to to uh, Think and Swim because I'm not gonna. I, I won't transfer to Robinhood, but I I'd like to have an M1 count too and do do one of them and then. Uh, maybe Vanguard and Fidelity and be done with it. Don't do no more. And, and one thing is I might switch banks one of these days. I have BB&T Bank. I've had my card hacked before. And then I had a $15 maintenance charge on there today. you got to keep up with it. And I sent an email asking about that $15 charge through BB&T BB Bank and SunTrust. Uh, the basically... Uh, and then it, uh, no, there was no really response back, but they did. They said no. They put back the fifteen dollars refund of maintenance charge. And I'm like, gosh, dang it! 
And I gotta watch them. If they, I might just end up leaving them and go to a bank, another bank and stuff. Because I don't like doing that. I don't like to have to watch that. Because they make, I understand banks make money off of it. When you use your Visa debit card, you use your Visa, you use your debit card, your debit card is a credit card. They get a percentage of that. The credit card gets a percentage of the credit card gives a percentage to the bank. That's how banks are supposed to make money. I might be incorrect on that. But that's the way I understood it and stuff like that. But so far uh, for me today, because I'm still off work because I'm trying to figure out my right eye situation to get my vision back and uh, figure out my stomach issue. I, the only thing they found was HLA B27. And I don't really understand it completely. I just hopefully they can do something to correct it. It's where my immune system's overreacting, I believe. And then I believe I have some kind of like candida, candida overgrowth or yeast overgrowth or something like that. I'd love just to, it'd be pain, painful, but there's a drug that they give you, I forget the name of it, but it goes in there and just kills all the bacteria, everything good and bad, and then you just got to do probiotics and restore the good back, restore the good bacteria, so like that stuff, but uh, I almost like to do that. Let's see how much I have left on my, uh, I have four minutes left. I'm gonna try to make it. I'm trying to make it as I hang upside down and stuff. But uh, trying to stretch it. My left leg's bothering me a lot, and my right leg is doing good. It's weird. Normally, it's my right leg that bothers me and stuff. And uh, I have like a. This is an awesome. Version table's got like a heat pad right there on my side nerve area. It's so like that. But weirdest thing about my body is my right nostril always gets stopped up. And that's the side of my eye. Went it's just everything right side of my body. But hopefully I can get that fixed soon and stuff. But uh, I was trying to think. My goal is hopefully uh, my goal is to continue to get connected to other dividend YouTubers. I love watching their channels. Uh, they and learn more from their channels and their quality of videos. Learn more about their quality of videos. Uh, Hopefully, the just figure more out about YouTube and uh, use this. Yeah, as a platform, hopefully to make money, but it mainly as a platform too. To as I speak about it, uh, it basically enhances stuff in my mind of when I speak about it and stuff um, by listening to them, by repeating it to, out loud to myself like this, and it helps me remember and learn stuff but i think i'm gonna cut this video short i think i'm gonna go ahead and get off here it short and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and let flip back up and stop this video God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. Hopefully, try to focus on positive things and stuff like that. So, God bless y'all. Thank you.